Why the hell are you late? I am sorry, boss. I just arrived from my tent. What do you mean, tent? Have you heard about the tent's protest? Are you referring to the bunch of alcoholics that block Ibn Viral every Saturday night? Yes. That's correct. I'm one of them. Why don't you guys just go to Lod and leave us alone? You can go to Lod if you want. I prefer to stay here in Tel Aviv. That's what they say on television. You're a bunch of spoiled youngsters who don't care about anything outside of TLV. We do care, really, but... But you don't feel like taking the train to work. You want to just walk. Or ride my bike. If you were really into Zionism, you would go to Lod, invest yourself and grow up with it. It's a lovely little town. Lod is indeed a lovely town, but I have nothing to do with it. I belong here. My cousin also has nothing to do with Lod, but he still went there and... And? And bought two apartments. Great. Does he like it over there? He doesn't live there. He rents them out. Oh, a real pioneer that is. You bet. He is leveraging the money he borrowed. Soon he will have 10 million shekels worth of real estate assets. Woo, who? That's what real entrepreneurs do, while you whiny lot sit back and wait for something to happen. Well, we are trying to do something, to protest. You can rent in lot for real cheap. Better hurry though. My cousin says rent has already gone up 50%. That is really exciting. And what will the poor people who live in Lod right now do when prices will soar? I don't care, they can go somewhere else. Like? Like? They could go to a settlement. I hear prices there are pretty low. And? And? There is always room for expansion over there. And you and your cousin will stay here while we poor people keep moving from one place to another. No one ever said TLV was for everyone. It's not TLV, it's Tel Aviv. And I was born here. It's a city, not an airport. Look, I built my empire with my own two hands. I didn't wait for someone to come out of nowhere and give me anything. I appreciate your initiative. I wouldn't know where to start. You can do that too. All I needed to do is use my husband's connections in the security industry to get a foot in the door. Isn't security industry just a nice word for being an arms dealer? There is nothing wrong with supporting democracies under threat in various parts of the world. Take Syria for an example. You convince me. I want to join the military industry. I want to be part of the party. I don't think you can. And why is that? I don't think you'll pass security screenings. I think I'd better get back to my trusty old tent protest for now. And I think you better get back to work. Now.